so just up at Hursley haven't done a vlog in a couple of months now um, it's just been so busy running around doing stuff I thought I'd do a quick update because lots of stuff's been finished here so I've whizzed over here and um, show you the fab lab the cafe finish the brewery bits and pieces and then do an update on other stuff so let's go check out um, the stuff at Hursley so Hursley looking awesome as always even though uh, Bit miserable. I thought I'd just show you the uh, finished cafe space. I did a vlog of before it's sort of completely done. And, um, so finished space, pretty awesome. Uh, food, drink, all sorts on site. Tea, coffee, etc., etc., and completely transformed it. So it looks very different from what it did originally and I um, definitely recommend people popping over popping in to the cafe up at the Ink Hive in Hursley it's uh, pretty cracking Paul who looks after it um, is doing an awesome job so he's refitted a lot of this got some sort of snazzy awesome coffee machine got kitchen space down the back all looking awesome so all clean and tidy down the bunker, still got some of our admin sort of area. Um, in fact, other thing to mention, just wander around the outside. <laughs> it's in the window. I've got five star food hygiene rating. Um, there's a sign there. So, Cafe Hive, it's pretty windy still, recent storm. And, um, yeah, it'd be awesome to see people popping up here. Just go back in dropping into the cafe if you're lucky I might be hanging around as well so have a chat say hello um, let's have a look at the fab lab because that's almost finished as well I've been saying it's almost finished for months now it takes a while <coughs> so all the machines are in kits in sort of all the all these are Tesla um, prints up on the wall and the giant spanners I've had kicking around for ages. Let's turn some more lights on. <coughs> Oops, better. So we've got the embroidery machines over here. I'm just building this giant compressor, petrol power compressor. So I built a trolley for it. I'll drop in some photos of that. Um, that's going over to Marwell project I'll probably show next. And yeah, just finishing clearing bits up. Got the tools up on the wall, all the tools in the uh, drawers, so it's all done. And clean area, again, building kit for sites, sorting out bits and pieces, door systems, all sorts. But um, I'll put in a screenshot of the website, so about to launch the website, and then um, yeah, Fab Lab will be finished get it open and start the repair cafe as well so I'll no doubt update shortly so while I'm up at Hursley before I get blown away um, I thought I'd just show you the, the brewery quick which is finished and we partnered with Browning Gibbon if you can see that so Ralph I put in the previous video briefly um, to sort of make some beer brew some beer for us and um, the brewery's all finished sorted now and brewing uh, the big fermenters all in, um, built all this etc etc. Ralph's all licensed bits and pieces. So we've got some kegs in the fridge ready to rock and roll. So yeah, brewery's running at last and um, making beer. So hopefully we get some events on over the summer, joint with the cafe, the um, fab lab etc. And yeah, definitely pop up, check out the brewery and um, chat to Ralph and see what we're doing in here. So, all all at Hursley, survived the storm just about. So I'm going to whiz over now to uh, the site near Marwell and just do a bit of a first vlog on uh, the house build project I'm about to start. So do an update on that. So I'll shoot that way and then I'll try and vlog uh, this house building I'm doing over the, uh, the next year or so probably. Uh, lots of people have been interested. Do an update on the plane. Uh, I haven't really done anything like that yet. And uh, other bits and pieces. So, uh, so I'm over at the Marwell site. 
armoured truck is behind me. I just acquired a cherry picker, got a trailers a kit, etc. etc. I'll do a little video of the cherry picking, but it's quite good fun. It's pretty windy though, so it probably won't go up. Um, essentially, this is the site where well, I'll show you. I'm going to build a house. So I've got planning permission approved now for this barn. Still pretty breezy. So it's class Q planning permission to convert this barn into a property, a dwelling, i.e. my house. Um, obviously there's quite a lot to do. It's going to be a big project, I reckon at least a year. Uh, this is the site the plane's on and all sorts. So, um, I'll vlog as we go forward. There's a lot to do, a lot to tidy up. Um, it's going to be a big project. We've got a lot of land, so if I go this way, ask my new toys. So, we've got all this space here, again, to tidy up. Obviously, planes over there in the corner. New fence we've put in boundary. Half it got blown away in the storm earlier. Um, so, first job's repairing that. But I'll show you inside the barn. It's at the moment, obviously, all this tarmac will come out, all sorts of bits and pieces. It's going to be gated, trees, landscapes, a whole lot. It's quite an industrial site at the moment. Um, bar inside so, there's loo's little kitchen so that's almost a house already um, storage unit here I've just got tools ready for the build being stored in there we've actually got three phase electric cesspit or um, already in place so drainage etc is quite good and yeah I don't really see but we've got actually got three phase power into here which is pretty awesome although my plan is really if i can try and get this barn as eco as friendly almost off grid so you might put in um solar air source heat pumps this sort of stuff and um yeah really try and make it really economical and good for the environment i just duck under another toy i bought the other day this power lifter thing so i'm just clearing out rubbish in the barn at the moment but this will all be stripped out. Obviously, new walls, new roof, the whole lot. Pretty much just keeping the steel frame. And that's the entire thing. Everything else has been stripped off. I'll see if I can drop in some of the plans as to what we're going to do. But it's yeah, quite a big site. Underfloor heating going in, so relay all the concrete. But there's a hell of a lot to strip out and start with. But um, yeah, today is day one essentially. Um, so starting to tidy up. Get rid of some of this rubbish and um, start planning out what's going to go where, how it's going to work. Obviously, these vehicles aren't ours, it's all part of the industrial units dotted around. But yeah, we're bang near, well, opposite Marwells almost. We've got about an acre of land, plenty of room for all my toys. And the first toy I've bought to help with the build is um, this cherry picker. Send the camera up, and perhaps we'll get a bird's eye view of the uh, barn and what we're going to do to start with. And I'll send the cherry picker up just because I want to play with it. I'll just do a quick wander around the site just as people are asking what we're going to do. So we've got a load of land here, which is kind of redundant at the moment. But obviously, I've got big plans for doing fun stuff on it um, it's kind of like a hard standing piles of wood bits and pieces fairly clear though and, um, uh, down here we've got an old lorry body bits and pieces so just clearing up essentially scrap metal and so forth um, i won't say what we're going to do with this space yet but you can see the barn up behind me so it's yeah, quite a big area okay i'm just tidying up all going to be tree lined, all looking very snazzy. We've actually got a concrete base down the back here, um, already in situ. 
which has nicely three phase power armoured cable coming from the barn so it drops that on here work quite well it's also got water feed and a waste feed um, which again we can re-enable hopefully and um, I've got a pad to drop stuff on and, um, make use of that let's jump over this puddle but yeah at the moment big open empty space fencing it all off and one hell of a tidying up job to do to make it look very cool it's going to be quite a grand designs sort of project um, and yeah I'll vlog bit by bit as we start doing it